Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today this is an updated tutorials for the water vortex animation I've done in the past. So here we are in Blender. As always, I'm going to use the presets which you can download for free from the link in the description. The principle of the setup hasn't been changed at all. So the only thing changed is the update of presets. But if you know the principle well enough, you should be able to recreate uh, without the presets, without any problem. So let's uh, start with a grid. And uh, let's increase the amount of subdivision. And we may want to increase the scale a little bit, but it does not really matter. And then we are going to drag this plane down. So we take a combine XYZ. We want the center to drop. So we take a proximity for I discussed that this in the past many times. It's just either geometry proximity, or uh, it's a, uh, a vector distance map to the center. Okay, whichever way you want to do does not really matter. We just plug the fourth into the fourth by default is zero to one, but uh, it has no effect now. This is because you either use an object to drive it, or you just uh, take the scale offset. So it will work based on the world origin by default. It's going upwards, so we remap 0 to 1, so then we drag that down. And then we are going to take a normal displacement on the noise. We take a noise 3D. So you displace it, you can change the scale. You can also plug a 4, so we can capture this uh, four at this stage without being dragged down. And then we take the uh, four into the four. So now you can actually see the effect, but we are going to reverse it so that uh, the center gets uh, uh, the least amount. And you can actually see uh, the effect. It may not be very obvious, mm, but you can remap it. So that you can see the center gets uh, less displacement. This is in case if you have any uh, bad topology because they are uh, displaced in a different direction. But this does not really matter. What we are going to do really is actually to rotate it afterwards. So here let's take a rotate vector. And if you directly plug that into the position, everything disappears because you do not have the position anymore. You need to recover that. And uh, by animating this uh, rotate, you can see this, uh, ro this uh, uh, vortex is rotated uh, in general. Uh, but we need to specify the rotation based on the amount relative to center. So we can capture another proximity fold simply because the parameter will be a little bit different. We are going to combine Euler rotation on the z-axis and plug that into the rotation. If we use radians, then the values will be multiplied with uh, 2 pi which is a better. And we take a remap to one. You can actually see this effect of what, uh, rotation and the proximity fold. And because we are using essentially the same proximity fold, it does not spill to the edges. That's why we duplicate that so that we can increase the scale. And then let's increase the size. So that you have this effect. Based on your angle, you may want to change um, how the scale is actually affect uh, this vortex. You can also decrease the amount of uh, displacement accordingly. So there are a lot of uh, parameter things that you can potentially play around, which I'm not going to really discuss. So at the end, we're just going to add a time interval to add a general rotation. <coughs> so you get a DC effect. 
and of course what you can also do is to uh, color ramp so that it has a different degree of influence uh, inside and outside so on and so forth the reason we do two captures is uh, to make sure that uh, all the evaluation of proximities before uh, we drag down this uh, vortex otherwise the evaluation will be uh, probably not yeah you can see the evaluation will be actually cut out when it's going outside this proximity 4 which is sphere here so you need to capture it which gives uh, the better result and basically this is it uh, you can also check some advanced settings but I guess it does not really matter in this case yeah I think this is it this is actually a really simple setup with a really simple principles you can do this with all the presets hopefully uh, it does not really matter so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll probably see you next time bye bye